Welcome in then to the latest edition of Extra Time. Shaq is here, Stevie as well. Frank LaBeouf joins us. Frank just sent out a generic text to everyone on New Year's Eve, so I didn't reply. It needs to be a little more personal, Frank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I forgot. I forgot that you had a big head, so I, I need to personalize my uh, my text. You know, I I did I did it to uh, to my friends. You know, and I I said, well, uh, you know, happy New Year from friends to all of you. I miss you. I mean, I miss you and everything. And no. only few of of uh, of you answered, and you were the first one to not to. And I'm yeah, very I forget. I'm you, we want something a little more I'm intimate, a little more personal, right? not just edit, copy, paste. Yeah, I'm going to send. I'm going to send you something very, very personal. Don't worry, <laughs> you're going to receive it. But, uh, you can count on me. <laughs> Frank, how good was Marcel Desailly? I only got to watch the latter part of his career at Chelsea, and do not see his name when world-class defenders are being discussed. The best of the best. I mean, uh, he played most of the time midfielder as well for Mar with Marseille and Milan, but he was able to play as a centre back as well. But when uh, Milan won the uh, Champions League 4 0 against Barcelona, uh, he scored the, the fourth goal in the final. He played uh, in a, in a, as a midfielder. And uh, I mean, the guy was uh, a beast. Uh, he was nicknamed the, 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 the Rock. And now you were talking about the wage of during the show of Mbappe coming to uh, to Real Madrid for, uh, uh, mm. comparing to uh, the others. I remember when he signed in 98, we were both World Cup champion, and he signed for Chelsea for maybe four times more than me. And I, so I knock at the door at Colin and uh, office and I say, I'm sorry, uh, uh, can I at least I have maybe just, you know, uh, double my wage like that. I will all have like two less, two, two times less than Marcel Desailly. He said, okay, that's only fair. I said, it's the guy was such a monster. I was so proud of playing alongside him with the national team with Chelsea. And, uh, and you know, he never tackled. He didn't know how to tackle. He was so good because he was anticipating everything. That tackle wasn't even an option for him. That really, The Rock was the best nickname uh, that, that you could have gotten for him. It sounds similar to the way you speak of Alan Hansen, Stevie, in that Aye. he'd have a clean kit. That, and, that's, and that's exactly what I was going to say to Frank. That, but this IE strip, from the start, first game of the season to the last, the woman didn't need to bother washing it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, or whoever was in charge of it. You just take it off, hang it up again, yep. I'll get it next week. I'm ready to go. I, yeah. I, I've already met this guy once playing in one of the Masters events um, after he retired. Down to earth as anybody. Right. I, and, and that, for, for a player that was so good and was so respected, he was just... Uh, That's just the opposite of Frank. Well, pretty, yes, <laughs> very, which is why he got paid <laughs> twice as much as Frank. <laughs> that was it. The best story I ever heard about this guy, Jason, I played with Jason Robertson at Portsmouth. He said when he was at West Brom, they played Chelsea. And he keeps making runs, and, and this guy just step, steps up, and he's offside. So Chelsea winning three or four, something like that. So then during the game, this guy says to him, 10 minute runs too early. So he's like, I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> <laughs> this is during the game. This is during the game. <laughs> so he's telling Jason, when, when, when he made feel like the ball, he's telling Jason Roberts, go now, go now. <laughs> so he, Jason Roberts is running, and then he's running. This is during the game. Brilliant. He's coaching, he's coaching the centre forward he's playing against. Wow. So funny. There you go. Oh, Beautiful. What's he doing now, Frank? Uh, he lives in uh, in Ghana. He went back there and opened, I think, a, a beautiful resort over there. And uh, he's enjoying his life in his uh, country. He was born in Ghana. Mm -hmm. he, he was brought by uh, uh, his mother and uh, the, the the father who adopted him. And uh, and he's uh, he's having a very good life. And uh, Marcel is Marcel. I love Marcel. Marcel is a is a businessman. He always been a businessman be, before being a football player. He was always talking about you know, contracts and everything, making money. And the way he was talking was like an ambassador. His father, the, 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 the father who, had, who adopted him, was an ambassador, I think. He was a, a deputy. He was a politician. He was talking like that. And Marcel was doing the same. He was like, he was, yeah, he was making a speech, even about talking about nothing important. I, I love the guy. The guy is so funny on top of being a very nice person and a absolutely fantastic player. Uh, let's start being mean some English manager, Stevie. This sounds right up your street. 
start, bench, drop, and ban. Oh, it's a Ooh. fourth. Ooh, Why have you got to ban them? Just think, it's never allowed to coach football again. Right. Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard, Gary Neville, Wayne Rooney. My word. Oof. Oh, good luck. <laughs> well, <laughs> so you got to, you've got to start. I guess you've got to say that Gerard of of all of them had the most success when he was at Celtic. It was a Rangers. 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 Yeah, you're right on top of things now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you'd have to go with Gerard first. <laughs> then it'd have to be Frank. He's got two months in Saudi Arabia without a win. I, I, well, that shows you how great the list is, doesn't it? Right, OK. <laughs> you know, if he's, the, if he's the, the best pick, yeah. then it's got to be Gary Frank. Gary Neville was a, the coach of Wish team. Valencia. Gary yeah, Neville yeah, Valencia. was the coach of Wish team. Uh, yeah, it was a disaster. And so Wayne, uh, Wayne uh, actually yes, true, had true. some kind of, <laughs> some sort of resemblance of success in MLS. OK. Because the team he was with, DC, didn't give him any money to spend at all. So he did OK. And then... I mean, Gary Neville was just a complete, utter disaster. Right. At Valencia. Yeah. There we go. I don't think they've recovered yet, either. <laughs> they won today. Yeah. Uh, Stevie, what do you make of the rumours that Liverpool was interested in Anthony Robinson? I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing him in a, in a Liverpool strip. I don't, I don't think Simicast is, is, is good enough. Uh, and absolutely, I think Robinson would push Andy Ro Andy Robinson. Frank, amongst the F's... Robertson, not Andy Robinson. I'm just going to let it go. Yeah, Robertson, yeah. Yeah, you must have I don't know why, you must have missed it. Uh, Frank, amongst the FC crew, who do you think could pull off a career in the theatre really well? And who do you think has no chance at all? Oh, Sha Shaq is acting. You've seen, in the... you've seen me and you've seen my work. Yeah. You've seen my work, Stephen. Uh, Shaq, Shaq, yeah, but not maybe in theatre. He's playing a goalpost. No, in a, in, a, in, in a movie, I see Shaq, you know, as the president of a country, you know, oh. playing the the guy somebody wants to be wants to kill him, and it's gonna be saved by somebody <laughs> like a, like yeah, yeah. I see, I see that guy. But you know what? In terms of theatres and comedy. Uh, Dan has the talent of being very funny at the right time, so he has the perfect uh -huh. timing for that. We don't appreciate him because uh, we are the subject that he's teasing, but uh, but he's very good at doing it. He's very good at doing worst, it. Who would be the worst, Frank? Who would like be the worst? Why is he taking so long? <laughs> I think <laughs> Ali, Ali, no, 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 no. I tried to oh. think about all the bandits and. Uh, and, uh, well, I think Luis Garcia will be a fantastic kind of beautiful and some guy, but he's too strict. He has, right. to, lay, he has to chill out a little bit. So, oh, well, there you uh, go. But otherwise, yeah, uh, uh, maybe Ali, Ali as well has to chill out a little bit if he wants to. OK, uh, all right. Think about it, Carol. Stevie. I can't believe he never mentioned uh, his good old friend, uh, Mr. Burley. Mr. Burley? <laughs> he was, he was, he'd like it on stage. Oh, Craig. Oh, wow. It'd be great. Craig would be... Now, Craig will be perfect for the Muppet Show. You know, always <laughs> complaining. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, what's one team you wish you could have played for, Shaka, and you can't choose Real Madrid or Barcelona? Liverpool. Ah. Yeah. There you are. I, I've, I've always said the, the ground I enjoyed playing at most was, was Anfield. Yeah. I, I absolutely loved it. I, I thought that, that fan base and, and playing there was, was like nowhere else other than teams I represent. Yes, quick, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Stevie? Glasgow Rangers. Ah, your team. That was my team as a yep. boy, yeah. Yep. What about you, Frank? Actually, soon as tried to tap me up. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> li 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 Liverpool as well. When, when, yeah. when, I, um, when Kevin Keegan was working with us for ESPN a long time ago, uh, uh, I shared some good times because that, that was the team who... Uh, Put down uh, Saint Etienne in uh, in the former uh, in the Champions League, but a long time ago. And I love that team. I love the shirt and of course the uh, the atmosphere. Uh, Bayern Munich as well was one of the, oh. the the teams that I would have played. I would have loved to play for. Yeah. Um, didn't Graham Sooners try and tap you up once? How did you do that? Oh, <laughs> I remember you telling me. Uh, yeah, no, he called me 19 just after he went to Rangers. Right. He said, uh, "Do you fancy it?" I was like, "Ah." Oh. I think I'm all right where um Where were you at the time? Liverpool. I see. 
No regrets? No. No, that's fair enough. Uh, if Shaka was cast as the new 007, would Stevie be Q? And what would Bond villain Frank's diabolical scheme be, cloning Mbappe? Oh, that's quite... Well, well that's a, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, Frank would definitely be the... I really could, you know. Yeah, you think so, Shaq? Yeah. I'll do my own stunts and everything. Frank's got the bald head for the part, for Fra the villain. Frank, and he's got a cat. And he's got a cat. Yeah, he's yeah. sorted as well. And Frank... Oh! oh yes. yeah, there, <laughs> you there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he's a member of Spectre. There hey. you are. Beautiful. Who, who, who's Q? Who's Q? Yeah. Isn't it Judy Dench? Yeah. Is that Judy Dench? Or is that like the boss? No, Q, is Q, no. no, the guy that does all the weapons and all that. Oh, the techie guy. Oh. oh. Yeah, Q. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. If Steve is my techie guy, I don't want to be James Bond. Uh, what? <laughs> if Steve is my tech guy, I, I'm just I, giving up. People are. I'm just giving up. Oh, my God. Pull up your face. What, they were over there. They were over there. Jackie, what was Stevie's face like doing expenses today? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen somebody's clear on the receipt, but as long or as hard in my life. Oh, God. Uh, um, Frank, aside from Pep and Klopp, who do you think... Are the are we just go for the best manager in the Premier League this season so far? Uh, well, definitely uh, Postecoglou and De Zerbi. I think uh, I, I would have loved to put um, uh, Postecoglou. what is his name? Um, the new. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. right. What's wrong? Postecoglou. Yeah. I was thinking. Uh, I, I was thinking Lopetegui. I'm going to go, he's not doing enough of a job. Right, right. S sit down, to you. <laughs> now, you, 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 you have many play, you have many managers. You can put Emery as well, and you can put yes. also Eddie Hall. But Eddie Hall, we went down because of injuries, maybe not because of him and his fault. But um, yeah, you have four coaches, the, 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 those four that I named, that we will be uh, able to maybe soon Cup with uh, or, or fight with Pep and uh, and uh, and Jurgen Klopp as best managers, but they have potentials for sure. So you'd have Lopetegui. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you said did you say earlier? Oh no, 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 no. Did you did you say that earlier? I don't think so. Say what? Are you all right? <laughs> no, obviously not. See, I had that in my head. I'm not, I'm not having Stevie I, had Lopet I must have been reading something earlier on that had Lopetegui in it. And as soon as he said Portocolo, for some reason, yeah, Lopetegui came clearly, and I was like, I know, what's he talking was, about? Some... Yeah, this is Wesley Slimes all over again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shaq, uh, top three. Yeah, the uh, the managers in the top five, I, I think, are the best: Postecoglou, uh, Emery, and um, Arteta. Yeah, yeah, I, okay. I think those are the best three. Uh, if Sancho Stevie makes it back to Dortmund, will it restore his prowess? What impact will he have on the club? These are quite advanced talks, apparently. This could happen. Yeah, that's advanced. Is that, that advanced? Yeah. I, I, I think that's a difficult one. I think it'd be too obvious to just turn around and say, well, yeah. Because, I mean, the guy clearly, mentally, has a problem. And he hasn't kicked the ball for how long? So, oh. so I, it's... For, people got to realise playing football isn't just about flicking a switch and the light comes on. It takes it, it takes so many things that have to all come together. And right now, this guy is well, he's doing nothing, uh, and there's nothing to say that when he comes back, he's going to be able to do it with, within a short period of time. So, yeah, I, w I would say no. What do you think, Jack? I'm I'm doubtful as well. I, I, not not just the fact that he hasn't been playing, but even when he has, he's not given not given you any reason to believe that he can rediscover the form that he, he had at Dortmund. So unless they, I, again, I'm, I, I just don't see it. Stevie, winners and losers from the December results. Do you remember them? No. What Liverpool? You would say oh, Liverpool. Liverpool, Manchester oh. City. I would say in the main winners. Liverpool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah hundred percent Liverpool. Yeah, and Arsenal probably the losers. I'm just answering the whole question yes. for you here. Yes, thank yes. you, Dan. All right, maybe Aston Villa could City throw in there as December. well. Yeah, yeah actually, yes, I Aston Villa. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Yeah, Good. Else, Manchester what? United, obviously, you can throw in there, but that's, yeah, right. that's no, every right. month. Yes, yes. Yeah. lovely. Yeah. Good. Well done. Final question, Frank. Who is the most technically gifted player you've ever seen play the game? I can never get past Ronaldinho. Yes, Ronaldinho was definitely 
in terms of Brazilian that I played against, the most talented, but I cannot avoid thinking about Zizou. I mean, what Zizou was capable of doing technically was absolutely amazing. Uh, in, uh, and I saw him dreaming like two, three players in a, in a very uh, small space. So yes, uh, him and um, who I can think about. Um, Oh, so I try to enough, remember. Uh, okay, perfect. Let's go. Yeah, you are perfect. You can go, yeah. you, it's midnight with you. You can go to bed. That's fine. That's all right. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, uh, Shaka. good. Shaka is back tomorrow. Steve, are you here as well? No. Nope. No, Shaka's all on La Liga tomorrow. Of course, a couple of big games, including Girona against Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid taking on Mallorca as well. And at the end of those matches, ESPN FC with you, of course, as we are every single day live on ESPN+. Plus.